Right, so I've gotten some pretty good colours in the pan right the way around this area. And it's even up in the, the more loamy material that doesn't seem to actually contain as much gravel. I've got myself three buckets here. So they're about 25 kilos each. And um, we'll fire this thing up. It might need some adjusting, but that's all right. <laughs> How do you like the new pump? It's an old El Dorado or Jesse dredge pump, apparently. But I, um, I cleaned it up and machined it out and made it fit a modern seal. Made a few adjustments to um, the shaft and whatever on this engine. Made a couple of collets to um, ex sort of extend it out. Made it into a uh, thread on an impeller and yeah, she's mint. This is an old Mitsubishi, so. <laughs> but yeah, dredge pumps are about as good as you can get for, for water transfer. So yeah, let's fire this thing up now. Oh, and I've got uh, a very large but small screen. Because we're going to be sort of mostly re recirculating water in here. This is a little, sort of like a gully that never really runs. It runs into this bloke's dam on private property. So he was kind enough to let us in here. We've been coming into here for years and it's a great little spot. So let's boot everything up.
nice looking stuff in there. pans. Two bits in there. One's a nice uh, coarse bit actually. Quite chunkyish.
very clayey stuff. I'm not going to complete, completely break it up. Just rinse. And there's a few bits in there, believe it or not. One, two, three, four. Hmm. So that's all right. There's another pan from a little bit higher up on the bank. It's still quite clayey, but a lot, a lot easier to break up, which is good. about 30 colors in that one but all very 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 small you guys won't be able to see them on the camera not a chance but I'll sniff them up and there's actually a spot just up on the bank there that I want to try as well right on the edge of a wombat hole a little bit of um, alluvial gravel in there, so we'll quickly test that. A little bit of gravel in there, and quite a bit overhanging his entrance there. There is, right at the base of that crack, there is a colour in there. Interesting. Definitely gold up there. Real coarse too, like it's, um, it's sharp. It looks like a tiny, tiny little shark tooth. <laughs> nice. That was where I got that last sample just scratched off the topsoil here. You can see some gravel down in there. Just let's see what's in that. Hmm. Doesn't look very interesting. I'll try it anyway. One microspec. All right, well that's cool. I'll just keep digging into here and got to do another seven buckets and that'll get me to 25. And then I'll do a quick clean up and actually figure out how well this ground here is paying. It doesn't look very good, which is what's deterring me at the moment. But I think in actual fact, it'll be paying better than what it would on average in most other spots that I go. So I just need to tough it out for a little bit and we'll see what this clean up brings in.
I see quite a bit of fine stuff in there when I blow the water away. But yeah, we got some we got some chunkyish gold going on in here. And that's not too bad, is it? Quite a few bits on the right side there. Definitely. Hmm. Well, let's clean this out, see what we've actually got. See um, some nice gold flakes all through that material there. That looks all right for 25 buckets. Nice chunky gold. Hang on. Beautiful chunky gold. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's dry it and weigh it. water mate it's not food for you <laughs> and that's dinner I'll have to pick out some of those bigger bits.
0.65. Yeah, well, that's not too bad. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Hmm. A few little pieces of black sand in there, but not too bad. Call it 0.6. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. Hmm. Excellent. So at 0.6 of a gram, which it's a little bit more than that, that gives us actually over $2.50 per bucket Australian. So that's pretty good. <laughs> it's actually the richest that I've had in quite a while. So that's with a gold price here at the moment of around about $115 a gram. So calculated that based on $110 per gram. That's pretty good. That's pretty good going. I should go ram through a heap more buckets and, and actually get stuck into it because each one of those buckets is, yeah, like I said, $2.50. And um, there's 0 0.024 of a gram in each bucket. So we will definitely take that. I better go fire it back up. What I'm going to do today, first off, is just move everything up. I thought I was going to be working a little bit further down than what I actually am, so the better looking materials up here. So I'm actually going to move that trommel up and for the first time ever on any of my videos, I'm just going to shovel straight into it and just try and make the most of what time i got left here and see how much gold we can rack up. The material doesn't look the best, but it's paying really well, so I should have a good crack. Dirty, dirty water. Ooh, we got a nugget, we got a nugget. Yeah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> that's quite a nice little piece. There's another bit there. 
Well, um, quite a bit of fine stuff on the right side there, but apart from the little nuggy and that bit up there, they're about the best two bits. Just all fine stuff. Can't see anything further up in there, but there could be. It's tricky to see. Can't see anything down in the blue yet. So, I don't know. It's nice to get a nugget, but I was hoping to see a bit more fine gold doing all that gravel in. Might uh, start digging up a little bit further. Well, actually, I can see a couple of bits over in there too. Might get my headlamp. A little bit, a little bit, better keep digging. Right, I've only got about an hour left before we need to get out of here. Three hour drive home and then we've got to make the post office, so let's get stuck into it. I didn't get as many hours in as what I was hoping, but I'm still optimistic that we've got some gold in here. It's pretty nice ground. I've definitely processed through a fair bit of material and see the piles and stuff down there from where it was originally set up and then where it's set up here now I've nearly blocked the creek off again so it's not too bad now yeah, let's just hope we've got some let's hope we've got another nugget if I get one more nugget I'll be happy oh and there is another nugget Oh, there's another nugget there too. So we got, there's one here. Nice. That's the original one that we got the day before. And then we've got this one here, which is new as well. That's not bad. There's actually, um, there's quite a lot of chunky gold in here now too. Oh well, we should see a couple of grams anyway, shouldn't we? <sighs> let's pack this thing up. And let's never leave rubbish out the bush.
Have a look at them nice chunky bits, honey. Wow. It's not too bad at all, is it? They're beautiful pieces. You ripper. Donkey out of here. Oh, I fell in my own hole. Oh, that's the clean-up done. Well, it's in the bucket. Just got to get this gear out of here and then we'll pan her out. Honey, could you please pass me the 11 mil spanner? Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no. I was just stirring. The spanner's around in the back seat. I've already packed them away. So I thought, ah, uh, probably just easier to get you to get a pair of pliers. the big Mitsubishi, the power horse. This um, this model of old Mitsubishi engine actually has the same bolt pattern with a 5.8 threaded shaft as what your typical GX160 and GX200 have. 5.8 threaded um, UNF or whatever it is. But yeah, the bolt pattern for the housing is actually the same. So when I can afford one, I can just go and buy a new Honda and put that nice pump onto that and the Mitsubishi I don't know, I'll probably keep going hasn't failed me yet <laughs> four-wheel drive trauma going up the bank Come on, you bastard! Ah, oh, come on, Mitzi, what are you doing, mate? That's it.
uh, for each trailer. Fits like a glove. Oh, I see a piece of gold. All right, let's see how much gold is in the pan after the first two handfuls. Ooh, some nice gold. <laughs> oh, I love this shit. Chunky gold, chunky gold. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd had more time here. Right, last panful. Oh, just in time to see the clean-up, honey. Yep. But I could hear you swearing down here. Swearing? Yeah. Nah. I was probably just getting excited about the chunky bits. Getting down to the last little bit here. Certainly not our biggest trommel cleanup. Geez, those nuggets look nice. But considering the time that we had here, look at that nice piece of wire gold. That's cool. Considering um, how little time we had, how much material we actually moved, that's pretty nice gold. And let's not forget that there's also still another 0.66 um, in the car already. So it's looking like a nice little cleanup. Beautiful. All loaded up and ready to roll. Reckon we could fit much more on the old trailer. That's everything from the trommel this trip. So that includes the 0.66 um, that we got from the first cleanup as well. It's a pretty nice looking gold in there. Beautiful pure gold, very, very nice.
up. Doesn't look like we're talking about a big clean up here, but considering the amount of work that I did, it's actually really good. Or two and a quarter grams it's not too bad so I've just done the math on that now and two and a quarter grams I don't think that I would have even put through 50 buckets worth of material um, I mean I know that we put 25 through to begin with after that I was just shoveling so I couldn't really tell you for certain but it didn't feel like another 25 buckets worth so I'm gonna calculate this based on um, 50 buckets so that would actually give us around about 0.04 per bucket, which is nearly $5 Australian per bucket. Um, I'm, re I'm really kicking myself now because I should have stuck it out for longer there and, and focused more on the trommel instead of walking the hills looking for hard rock mines and, and reefs. Because <laughs> that's actually the best gold that I've ever gotten with the trommel. So really, really impressive. Very happy with it. Just wish I had spent more time digging. So anyway... I hope that gives you guys a little bit of a fix. That's um, a pretty quick video to make. You know, we're only out there for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, there's more videos coming, hard rock stuff. I've just been busy lately because we've actually been doing reasonably well. So, you know what it's like. Anyway, stick, stick around and hopefully uh, you'll see a hard rock video shortly. And I hope that this one gives you a little bit of a gold fix for those people stuck at home. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thanks again.